My big mission is to remind you that you are here to shine your light. But what does that even mean? A few years ago, I was in a place where I did not feel so shiny. In fact, I was a bit lost and I definitely lost my mojo. I left my career. I was a stay at home mom with two kids and a new baby. I was trying to build a business and earn some money of my own. I was searching for what I was good at and what I could do with my time and what would light me up. And I felt a bit like I was spinning in circles. Like everything was okay, but nothing was really awesome, you know? I was wasting time one day, flickering around Pinterest as you do, and I came across a gorgeous image with a quote from Anne Lamont. It said, Lighthouses don't go running all over an island looking for boats to save. They just stand there shining. And that was such an aha moment for me. Goosebumps rose up on my skin, and it felt like something clicked into place, you know, in my spine. I wanted that. I wanted to just stand there, shining. And I went on a bit of a quest to figure out what it means to shine, what it takes to shine. And one thing I've noticed as I've been on this quest is that the word shine gets used a lot, especially in the motivation, inspiration, transformation space. I can't wait to see you shine. Oh, you need to shine. It's your time to shine. Shine on, shine now, shine. We hear it a lot. My question, my quest is this. How? How the heck do we shine? Really? Like, is there a magic light switch somewhere that nobody's been telling us about? And I bet you can look around in your life and see people who do indeed shine. Like that woman, you know, who's found her thing and is just so content in life. Or the woman who's unashamedly herself, doesn't care what anyone else thinks. That woman who seems absolutely fearless and is going after all of her dreams. That woman who has an air of confidence and passion and drive around everything she does. That woman who's so talented, smart, inspiring, amazing, funny, you know, doing such awesome stuff. I think you know those kinds of women. And if you're at all like me, you have a longing inside you to shine too. From studying the examples around us, this is what I think it means to shine. One, being you. Being exactly who you want to be. Maybe even finding yourself again. Definitely giving yourself permission to be you in your own unique way, regardless of what anyone else thinks. Two, finding and doing what lights you up. Your passion, your purpose, your strengths and gifts. Exploring and learning and growing and seeking. And three, sharing it with the world. Inspiring others, helping others, owning who you are, no more hiding. Raising your voice, saying out loud, hey world, this is me. That is shine. But what I've discovered as I've been on this quest is that it's not enough to simply decide to shine. There is actually more to the story. And most people don't talk about this part because it's the hard part. One, you need to build a sense of confidence belief in yourself, worthiness, value, and deserving, a strong mindset. That stuff doesn't just magically appear when you decide to shine. Who knew? You actually need to build you, to build yourself up. The other thing you need to know is that there are going to be some big roadblocks on this journey, some really pesky Persistent little blocks that will get you stuck, lost, off track, or feeling like maybe you should just give up. Hard stuff like fear, 
doubt, worry, negativity, criticism, comparison, frustration, dejection. Sometimes, yes, we will get this stuff sent our way from others, but mostly it comes from within ourselves. And it's part of what we are here to do, work on this stuff that comes up for us. For those of us who choose this crazy journey, choose to build ourselves and build a life that lights us up, a life of purpose and joy, I believe that we choose this journey because we're meant to learn from it. That's why the really good stuff, the really important stuff, is the hardest and triggers the biggest fears and blocks. We are actually supposed to work through the hard stuff. We're supposed to grow and learn and evolve and figure out the journey is actually the point. It brings us closer to who we are meant to be in the world. That light we're here to shine. Do you remember who you were born to be? before the world told you who you should be? Are you progressing on your journey or just staying in that stuck space? Maybe because it feels safer or easier. Do you have a little niggling whisper inside, perhaps? A tap, tap, tap on your shoulder. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You are actually here to shine your light, and it's time. Now what are we going to do about it? The lighthouse, from that quote that inspired me so long ago, has become a powerful symbol for me. A symbol of the life that we are here to build for ourselves. If you want to shine your light, you actually need to build yourself a structure on purpose that will allow you to shine it. it. Makes sense, right? We should be building lighthouses. And this is what I believe the lighthouse teaches us to do. To ignite your light from the inside out. Be you. To be a beacon. Owning you and sharing you with the world. Connecting to people who care about the same things that you do to build a tower, a life that aligns with who you are and what you want, a life that serves your light and lights you up. To strengthen your foundation, build you, build your mindset and confidence so you can stand tall and stand in strength. And to use that spiral staircase inside, because this is a journey. So honor it and all of the stuff that comes up along the way. Be curious, work through it and keep going. And lastly, to come back to the harbor where your lighthouse lives. You belong here. You are exactly where you are meant to be. And when things are not always shiny or you find yourself off course, your lighthouse is a guiding light pointing the way back home, back to you, back to your light. It's a beautiful and simple symbol that can both change the way we think about the life we are building and also it can teach us how to build it. My mission is to inspire you to build a lighthouse, to be a lighthouse. Life's too short to plod along, waiting for small little changes to happen, or waiting for that light switch to magically appear. This is a revolution because it's time for us to make a new choice. It's time to rise up against that voice inside that tells us it's better to stay, to stay safe and small and comfy and fine. The voice that says, who am I to shine my light? I'm nothing special. 
it's time to say, who am I not to? The Lighthouse is for anyone who longs to do things differently, do life differently, or to have something more out of life than they have right now, or to take what you do have and make it even better. It's not about doing more. We have enough people and places telling us that we gotta do more. It's about being more. It's about being you. And it's so important to know that we can each shine in many different ways. Through building a business or a brand, through work or career, through home or community, through your relationships or family, through charity work or hobbies. It's your choice. There are no rules here. Some of you may want to have a big impact to create change or leave a legacy. Others may think, you know, I don't want to change the whole world. I just want to improve my world. I just want to be me and be happy. But I actually think that is how we will change the whole world. Because when you shine your light, simply by living your purpose, by being you and building you and sharing you, you will give others permission to do the same, to light up. And this will create ripples of light that will indeed be world changing. Imagine a place where every woman, old and young, stands tall and owns their light in the world. Be you, be a lighthouse.